what is going on guys, it's Nick, and today I'm bringing you a 143 kill solo gameplay on the map Nuketown by Carnage Swifty. Swifty's an amazing player, if you guys do enjoy this gameplay, his channel will be linked down below in the description. He just passed 15,000 subscribers, I've been friends with him for a long time, I've seen him his channel grow for a very long time, and he's absolutely killing it in Black Ops 3, so go show him some support if you have an extra second. And of course, if you enjoy the comment there, my channel is linked down below as well, on the road to 10k, just passed 8 k a little bit ago and i appreciate all your love recently it means the world to me if you guys do enjoy this video please be sure to drop a like down below let's shoot for 800 likes on this video if we can hit that that'll be absolutely amazing that'll put a smile on my face if we can't that's okay too not gonna be mad at anybody individually also if you want to stay up to date with everything going on in carnage please be sure to follow all of our social media it'll be linked down below in the description twitter instagram facebook snapchat and if you're new here and you want to see more videos make sure to hit that subscribe button we'd appreciate it in this gameplay swifty is running the vmp with the scythe as a specialist and his score streaks are the wraith hater and raps the wraith and the raps of course to pick up all these kills and to make this high kill gameplay possible and the hater to just keep himself rolling knowing where his enemies are no and how to control the map, Hater is a major key. So I was scrolling through articles on Charlie Intel, which I don't do that often, actually. I don't stay up to date with Call of Duty news that frequently, but I saw an article that says Call of Duty, since the franchise started in 2003, since the initial launch, has now sold over $15 billion worth of copies. And the article is relatively short and sweet, but as a Call of Duty lover, as a Call of Duty enthusiast since the Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty World at War days, it's awesome to see that a franchise you love so much has been that successful, and rarely do we get to see numbers like that. I mean, $15 billion, it really puts it into perspective how successful... A video game franchise can be and a fun little fact on black ops 3 it also says that this game black ops 3 has the highest percentage of dlc attach rate in franchise history meaning that this call of duty game has the highest percentage of people purchasing the dlc which means people are still interested three months or so into the game and that's awesome that's great news there have been some great dlc packages in this franchise history so for this to have the number one ever attached percentage rate that's that's pretty huge now a big part of it is probably because of zombies but black ops 2 black ops 1 world at war they all had zombies this game's killing it and on this article i was reading it actually linked me to another article which took me back to march of last year i believe it said it was back when the franchise had only sold 12 billion dollars worth but that equaled out to 175 million copies and this is the coolest fact of all they said 175 million copies equals out to one copy being sold approximately every two seconds throughout the world one copy of call of duty every two seconds to somebody somewhere in this world that is that's amazing to me and i absolutely love to see facts like that i mean that's something i would never have known i mean one every two seconds i guess i would have imagined something like that but as somebody who created a franchise that has to be the best feeling in the world knowing somewhere somebody is buying your product every two seconds keep in mind your product isn't a 25 cent gumball that they're getting out of a machine this is a 60 dollar game and it is being sold every other second the article also went on to list a couple other franchises who have sold over 100 million copies and the list is not that long it includes lego mario pokemon need for speed final fantasy and fifa and they're putting halo in at only 60 million copies sold so that really does put that into perspective the call of duty is now over three times the amount of copies that halo's ever sold and i am not trying to rip on halo whatsoever i'm personally a halo fan halo 3 one of my favorite games of all time without a doubt but it's just cool to see the numbers in comparison to that it without a doubt puts call of duty as one of the most successful gaming franchises of the the generation or ever and like i said as a fan of call of duty as somebody who has literally grown up playing call of duty and had call of duty be a big part of their life i know that may sound completely dorky but my late grade school years my high school years i call of duty was a huge part of my life and it still is to this day so it's pretty cool to see a game that's had such like an impact on my life which again sounds extremely dorky 
it's awesome to see as much success as it's had. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my commentary today. If you did, like I said, please be sure to drop a like down below. As you can see, Swifty is absolutely dominating this gameplay, like I promised all of you. Swifty is an amazing, amazing player, and as a friend of mine, I can say he's got a great, great YouTube channel. Like I said, he just passed 15,000 subscribers a little bit ago, and I know 20,000 is going to be a huge milestone for him, and I'm extremely excited for him to hit that, so go show him the carnage love. I know all of you know who Swifty is, or 99% of you already know who Swifty is, but for the one person, the 10 people who may not know who Swifty is, get to know him. He's a great guy. And I will talk to you all very, very soon over here. Absolutely love commentating over here on Carnage. I love talking to all of you amazing people. And if you have any other awesome Call of Duty facts that you want to leave down below in the comment section, I will be reading and responding to comments unless something absolutely tragic happens in my life, which I don't think will happen. So I'll talk to you all very, very soon. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys.